Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. For the British public, Spain is a popular tourist destination and although this summer many of us will be heading to the beautiful Spanish beaches, many of you may not know about this country's megalithic history. Thousands of tourists fly into Malaga airport every year, but this city also houses two incredible stone tombs dating back more than 5,000 years. Their origins are still shrouded in mystery, and for anyone with an interest in the ancient world, these tombs are certainly worth a visit. They were discovered between 1903 and 1905, and are called the Dolmen of Vieira and the Dolmen of Menga, separated by just 70 metres. In terms of time, these tombs are separated by hundreds of years, but they do show a clear continuation of religion and ritual in prehistoric Spain. The Dolmen of Vieira is located under a mound or tumulus, and it measures 50 metres or 160 feet in diameter, with a 21 metre or 69 foot corridor leading to a burial chamber. The chamber is relatively small, just 2 metres high and 1.8 metres in width. It was built using an orthostatic technique, large stones standing upright, carefully cut and fitted together, and the stonework indicates that these tombs were made for someone of importance. But who that was, well, we don't know. Ceramics as well as stone and bone tools were found inside, but no human remains were discovered. It was dated between 3510 and 3020 BC. The Dolmen of Menga is the oldest of the two, thought to have been built between 3750 and 3650 BC. It's one of the largest known ancient megalithic structures in Europe, and is believed to have been the grave site for the families that ruled the region. This dolmen is 27.5 metres or 90 feet in length, 6 metres or 20 feet wide, and 3.5 or 11 feet in height. It was built using 32 megaliths, the largest weighing around 200 tonnes. As you can see from this picture, the interior is truly breathtaking. Interestingly, this dolmen is oriented to the northeast, just north of sunrise on the summer solstice which, on the face of it, does seem anomalous. But this is because it's pointing towards another ancient site known as the Matacabras Rock Shelter, and this contains a series of red anthropomorphic and zoomorphic representations on the cave walls. Because of their appearance in the landscape, the dolmens were once the subject of local legends, with people saying they were built by supernatural spirits. Obviously, archaeological analysis shows they were made by human hands and that their construction is thought to be related to an ancient sun cult. According to official sources, the builders of these structures, known collectively as the Antikera Megaliths, were the first farming community of the fertile lowlands of the Gardle Horse Valley. Not far from these dolmens, there's a series of Neolithic and Copper Age settlements dating back to between 5000 and 2200 BC. Close by there are also ancient Neolithic cave settlements, including Cueva del Toro and Cueva de la Pulsera. But the closest ancient settlement to the megalithic tombs is known as Cerro de Maramacho, situated on a small hill 200 metres to the east. At this location, finds dating back to the late Copper Age were discovered, dating to between 2600 and 2200 BC. At this site there was a small open-air village with semi-subterranean hut-like dwellings. Experts believe that to construct the enormous megalithic monuments, it required the close cooperation of several local communities meaning that there was likely a local shared belief system and possibly one local leader or ruling family. In 1923, the Dolmens were given national monument status in Spain, 
and they're one of the biggest tourist attractions for visitors who love their history. According to those that have been inside, there is a genuine atmosphere when you walk through the corridors, and being one of the highlights of prehistoric Spain, and also Europe as a whole, they're certainly worth a visit. Many people flock on the summer solstice to witness sunrise from the megalithic structures, structures thought to have been built by a sun-worshipping culture many thousands of years ago. If you visit the dolmens, it's also worth checking out another site called Tolos de la Romorel. Apologies if I've said that incorrectly. This is another megalithic burial site dating back to 1800 BC. And, as you can see, it has an incredible circular stone roof. This structure, together with the dolmens of Vieira and Menga, were made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2016. And thankfully, they have been preserved for future generations to learn from and enjoy. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.